AI can't like come up with something where they can click on photos of bicycles or say, I am not a robot. I don't think these things work anymore, really. Like AI is able to crack all of these. AI is so intelligent. How come they can't figure out that I'm not trying to type duck all the time? I swear constantly, you think it would pick up on this at some point. Yeah, I, I share your frustration. <laughs> so, so, here, so here's the thing, right? So um, <laughs> the, the AI is really impressive. Like these language models are really good at, at actually giving you answers that are really clever. But then if you actually want to integrate this technology into everything, you need to like engineer a whole bunch of stuff that somehow people are not able to do in a way that I'm happy with either. Part of the problem is like, who's going to actually build this stuff? Like an AI engineer is so expensive for these companies okay. and they're all just trying to build the next chat GPT to have a nice big press release about it. But to kind of do the dirty work of actually integrating all this stuff with all their services and so on, that's actually quite complicated and expensive. And, you know, I, I think that's why we're not actually getting the functionality we want for things we use all the time. How do you think we regulate AI? Because if we're expecting these geriatric dipshits in Congress to wrap their heads around this. I mean, it's complicated, right? Because I think everyone's confused. So AI is really good at like more of the same. It's it's not so good as like do something fresh. And so I don't know how you think about your own comedy, but if you think you're different from all the other comedians, you're probably fine. No, I'm not. <laughs> I am not that different. Oh, all right. Well, whatever. Uh, do you have any creepy stories about how big data knows people better than they know themselves? Uh, I'm sure it happens all the time where people you know, are outed for, you know, being pregnant or, you know, whatever, just by, you know, someone in their home with the same IP searching for something, right? I think this happens all the time. People, yeah, I figure things out pretty quickly. Uh, I don't know. I always see the same ads on Instagram and they're always like something that I searched on some other website. So I really feel like all the companies know exactly. You have a burner phone? No. Okay. Do you have one? No. no. I'm not somebody that ever, I don't do things that matter. Like there's my wife. I'm never trying to keep anything from anyone. If somebody, if big brother looked in on me, they would just be like, Oh, that is horribly unimpressive. What yeah. he does all day long. I mean, the problem for me is I grew up in this generation, like early two thousands, the internet was only good. And by just doing more on the internet and making everything open, we would change the world and everything would be connected and better. And then like 10 years later, we realized, oh, that's not actually what's happening with the internet. But I feel like all my information is out there already. So like, what more do I save? Just porn. All the internet did flooded us with porn. See, I don't want to get in trouble here because one of my colleagues in my department at UCLA actually invented the internet. So I, I cannot really say it's it's a negative thing, I think, you know. Tell me now, Gore. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Does it ma matter whether or not uh, I accept cookies on a website? It doesn't matter. You'll be tracked anyway. <laughs> so I should just always say accept all? I always do. You do? Yeah. I like to get the other one where it's like, oh, just the selected ones. Then I have to like go through and I start. <laughs> it just makes your life harder for no good reason. Yeah. Okay. So just accept them all yep. and move on. Because I can't get my lights to turn on half the time with my Crestron app. So I'm just I'm just loving that Mark Zuckerberg thinks his entire Hawaiian island is going to work. 